Hello everyone. We have done a detailed study about the allotropes and the physical form the carbon compounds can take. We had a brief look on the physical properties and how they can be determined. In this video, we are going to see the chemical properties of the carbon compound. The first property which we are going to see is combustion. The burning of carbon compounds in air to give carbon dioxide, water, heat and light is called as combustion or burning. All of us use LPGs in our kitchen for cooking our food. LPG comprises of carbon compounds, mostly butane, which when burnt in air forms carbon dioxide and water vapor and a large amount of heat is generated which is utilized for cooking our food. In simple words, we can say that it is simply a process of combustion of butane to form carbon dioxide and water. Now look at this LPG stove. If I light it, it is burning with a blue flame or a non-sooty flame and also we see that there is no smoke arising from the flame. But it is not always like this. Sometimes when I light the stove, the burner burns with a yellow flame or a sooty flame and at these times the cooking utensils also become black due to the soot deposition from the black smoke released. In the case of a burning candle, if you observe closely, it also burns with a yellow flame and it also releases a black smoke. So what is the reason behind this that sometimes the same gas is burning to give a blue flame with no smoke and sometimes it burns with a sooty yellow flame. The reason lies in the complete combustion and incomplete combustion of the carbon compounds. The complete combustion means that the carbon compound burns completely to form carbon dioxide and water. So, if we have a look for the saturated hydrocarbons like butane in LPG, these are oxidized by the oxygen present in the air to form carbon dioxide and water and hence it burns with a blue non-sooty flame. But when the inlet of air is covered, there is an insufficient supply of air and hence an incomplete combustion of the hydrocarbons takes place. Therefore, it burns with a yellow sooty flame. I had covered this inlet of air with the help of kneaded dough to stop the supply of air. Now I will remove this covering. Once the covering is properly removed, we can see that the previous yellow flame has converted to a blue flame due to complete combustion. In the case of LPG, we have saturated hydrocarbons in which the percentage of carbon is comparatively less than the percentage of carbon present in the unsaturated hydrocarbons like alkenes or alkynes. So in case of alkenes and alkynes, the oxygen present in the air is not sufficient to do the complete oxidation of them to form carbon dioxide and water. So they always give a yellow sooty flame as in the case of burning candle. But if we burn these unsaturated hydrocarbon in the presence of pure oxygen, even these unsaturated hydrocarbons also give blue flame as complete oxidation takes place. The fuels such as coal and petroleum have some amount of nitrogen and sulfur in them. So the combustion results in the formation of oxides of nitrogen and sulfur which are the major pollutants in the environment. So next time when you see the blackened vessels of the utensils, it's because of the incomplete oxidation of the butane taking place due to insufficient supply of air and you also know the remedy for it. You simply have to clean the inlet of the air for the proper supply of air.